Hello! Today we are going to make delicious sticky rice shao mai. Shao mai is a very traditional Chinese food. Normally it's made of uh, beef, ground beef, with uh, different things you like. And the shape of the uh, shao mai is more like a flower pot. Uh, that is different and has to be steamed. Today we are going to make it a slightly different. I'll add some sticky rice to it. This is a sticky rice. It's uh, one cup of dry sticky rice. I pre-soak it for two hours before I'm using it. And after you soak it for two or three hours, you drain off the soaking water and you add boiling water to it just before you make shao mai. That way you soften the sticky rice and it's uh, quicker to steam it. Okay, my water is boiled. So I just add that water in the meantime, when it's, this is soaked, I'll make the stuffing. All I need is to submerge the sticky rice under the boiled water for a few minutes. I have about a pound and a half blend of uh, beef and the pork. I put some ginger in it. I also have a little bit of green onions in it. Now I'm going to mix it very well. With uh, I'm going to season it with a little bit of pepper. Black pepper is okay. I'm using Chinese pepper. I'll add some uh, light soy sauce. I just do it by eye, but uh, you probably want to measure two or three tablespoons. I'll add a little bit of uh, olive oil, salt, very important sesame oil. It gives you extra flavor. About a teaspoon would do, and uh, I'll add a little bit of water because the beef has a tendency to be very dry. I'll add a little bit of water because uh, I will put in the uh, sweet onions. Sweet onions is juicy. I'll add some uh, shiitake mushrooms as well. Those are rehydrated and chopped up into small bits. Yeah, they are... Actually tastier when you rehydrate them than fresh one, because I've eaten fresh shiitake mushrooms and uh, they, uh, they don't taste as good as the rehydrated ones. Oh yes, and uh, you, it's, uh, it's better you use the uh, dehydrated mushrooms because they they were dried under the sunshine, they're rich in calcium that way. And vitamin D. And, and it gives you more flavor. The flavor is uh, richer. Mm. Okay, now I just add shiitake mushrooms. And add adding the Onion. chopped onions. That's one large onion. An interesting tip about shiitake mushrooms, if you take them and slice them thinly and saute them in olive oil with salt and then bake them, it's just like bacon. It's like a vegetarian bacon. I'm not kidding.
Now the meat is nicely mixed. You, the consistency is like this. Now I'm going to add the sticky rice. You drain out the water. Now, even when you stick, uh, when you stir it, you can feel the sticky rice is starting to stick to the wall of the bowl. That is the condition you want it. The sticky rice looks pretty sticky already. Drain off all the excess of water and just mix it into the meat. And that'll be your stuffing. That's right. And making these the kind of dumplings is pretty fast because the wrappers are uh, square. They fit in your hand easily and, and you just stuff them from the top. They, they, they call them like, uh, flower pot dumplings, right? Another name for that style of dumpling. The sticky rice gives it a nice extra flavor and uh, texture. It's pretty quick with that mixer. At this point, we're at almost seven minutes and we're at the, already at this point. It's pretty good. So the consistency is pretty nice. It's easy. It would be easier to uh, put it in the wrapper and make the dumplings. So the wrapping process is next. Making them is not too difficult. I get the wrapper, I put some water, make around, along the edge edges, and then I just take about a, a suitable amount, about a teaspoon of the stuffing, and you just uh, shape it into a, like a flower shape it's a, like a vase supposedly but uh, since we cannot find the proper shaomai wrappers which uh, i just use kuntun wrappers or sometimes we use regular dumpling wrappers but uh, it, it really is supposed to be like a flower vase and uh, as you can see it doesn't take long to make one and I have made uh, quite a few here. And uh, some people get fancy. They would add uh, a pea on top of it to make it look nicer. Uh, that's your own call, whatever you like to do. And uh, now I make uh, a whole batch. Good. And all we need to do is to steam them. We put them on and uh, cover the lid, turn on the heat, let it steam. When you see it's in full steam, from that time on, steam it for 10 to 12 minutes and then turn off the heat and it will be done. Now it's cooked. Turn it off. When you turn off the heat, let the steam goes down a little bit, give it a couple of minutes. And uh, guess what? I'm a bad planner. I made 55 shaomai and uh, I used up all my wrappers. I still have leftover stuffing. So I ended up using up all my uh, peppers I have in the fridge. I used the three big green peppers and the one half red pepper. And this is one stone kills two birds. You can make stuffed vegetables as well. Okay, now let's have a look how these things look like. Let's hope it's good. I'm sure it will be. Oh, they don't look too bad. 55 of them. Okay.
wet my chopsticks so they don't get stick. That's how they look like. They smell very good. And uh, I'll let you know how they taste. Mm. When you steam those stuffed vegetables, it's similar time. It's about the 10 to uh, 12 minutes and uh, they should be equally good. You can serve it with any sauce you like. My husband smells is what you know. Yum, Thank yum. you for watching. See you next time. Thank you for making them. Bye bye.